And welcome back on this Tuesday afternoon. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Uh, a big difference from this time yesterday. Yesterday it was blue sky sunshine. Today we have those clouds in place, but you know it has not stopped the temperature from taking a jump. In fact, even warmer 68 degrees. That's where we're at Fargo right now. We saw a high temperature of 70 degrees last hour winds. Yeah, they're strong and that's one of the reasons why those temperatures have warmed up even more. So despite the cloud cover again, these highs about 10 11 degrees warmer than normal Grand Forks seeing a little bit of light rain right now. 65 degrees south wind at 15 gusting to 23. So again, those southerly winds definitely driving the temperature up today. And we did see some sunshine, of course, early in the day, but clouds increasing clouds now across the area, and that is going to continue to be the case along with opportunities for showers. Uh, we got 65 again, Grand Forks. We've got 70 Oaks, 72 in Sisseton. There are areas off to our south and west that are seeing mid 70s for highs. So again, those numbers well above the norm for this time of year. Satellite radar, here come those showers. We've got a couple of waves here, just some light activity right now. Then we head to the evening hours. We'll see more in overnight. So what does that mean for us? I think most areas are going to get rain. We'll see varying amounts. We've got pockets of heavier rain. We've got areas of lighter rain. And again, that is going to be the case through the overnight hours and into your Wednesday as well. Why? We've got this low pressure. And again, you can see the activity spinning around that low. So you look even farther off uh, to our west uh, into Montana, and you're seeing some of that rain. So again, all of that heading our direction. I have to stop and show you this viewer photo. This taken yesterday evening sunset, Lake Eunice area. And again, Juliet, thank you so much for sharing this photo. I love this one. Had to squeeze it in, especially since we're talking about clouds and rain. We got that picture of the sunshine. So again, hour by hour forecast. You see, again, these kind of pockets of rain, rain I should say, coming in waves. And you just see that spinning of the low as it moves into and through the area. Now we've got southerly winds ahead of the front. Behind the front, those winds are going to turn out of the north and west. It'll be mild to start our day tomorrow. But again, we're not just we're not going to get as warm, I should say, as we saw it there today. And again, part of the reason instead of those ones from the south, they're out of the north and west. Now, eventually tomorrow, later in the day, tomorrow evening, the rain will exit the region and it's going to be nice after that Thursday, right through the beginning of next week. As far as rainfall potential between now and tomorrow, could see about half an inch in most areas. You head, head off to our east, though. Bemidji, Detroit Lakes could see an inch or more of rainfall. Tomorrow's highs 59 Fargo. So again, 70 today. Cooler tomorrow. That's more the norm for this time of year. And we jump ahead and look at our planner for the next 11 days. You see breezy tomorrow as well, but look at Thursday. Back up to 60, mostly sunny. Friday, 65. The weekend still looking great. 61 and 58. Next week, better chances of showers, a little bit of a cool down. But I would say, especially this weekend, later this week, that's more abnormal for us to get these high temperatures. Yeah. Then we start to zone back down into something closer to We've normal. We've been a little spoiled recently. Very spoiled. Not that we're complaining. I've been here for about a week and have I'm loving this town because I know it's going to be like this all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Russ. Yeah. After the break, a new warning when it comes to QR codes. It's called quishing. We'll tell you all about it next.